Welcome to Fabric Solutions Australia's instructional video on how to install our domestic water tank liner. We will guide you through preparing your tank, preparing the water inlets and outlets, installing the underlay and then installing the liner itself. There are a number of reasons you may wish to install a water tank liner. The most common reason is that there are some small leaks in the water tank. These leaks usually occur because there is ground movement causing small cracks, or there could be rust or corrosion in a steel or metal tank, or there has been some degradation or splitting of seams in a plastic tank. However, you can also install a tank liner in a new water tank. This is an economical way to waterproof a new concrete water tank. However, it can also prevent future leaks where ground movement or contamination and corrosion may be a problem. For most standard water tanks, the DIY handy person is capable of installing a tank liner. However, you will need to ensure the following. That your water tank is either an open top tank or a closed top tank with suitable safe access. Always be mindful that you'll be working in a confined space and that appropriate precautions need to be taken. If unsure, seek professional advice. Your water tank must be still structurally sound. There must also be no internal supports as this requires specialised welding of the liner to ensure no leakage occurs. A new tank liner can be fitted to most common water tanks. These include corrugated, poly, flat steel and concrete water tanks. After fitting your tank liner, the liner must be held in place. This normally occurs by partially filling the tank with 300 to 400 ml of water. Otherwise you must secure the liner in place by some other method or hold off installing the liner until it can be filled with some water. There are six steps to installing a water tank liner. Step 1. Prepare all inlet and outlets. Remove sharp objects then clean and dry the tank. Step 2. Install the underlay. Step 3. Secure the liner to the top of the tank. Step 4. Check and adjust the liner if needed. Step 5. Secure the liner around all inlet and outlet pipes. Step 6. One final check before you fill. Preparing to install your new liner. Make sure you have read the supplied instructions and that you have watched this video completely at least once. If you do not understand any steps, please ask us for clarification. Make sure you have all tools and fittings before you start and that you have prepared all inlet and outlet pipes. Finally, the tank must be clean and dry before you start. When preparing metal water tanks, make sure you remove all rust and scale from inside the tank. Any exposed metal surfaces must be coated with a rust proofing agent. For all types of tank, there must be no sharp edges, protrusions, stones, roots or anything else that has the potential to harm the liner. Do not wear any shoes or footwear that can damage the liner. Any ladders or equipment that you are using must have protective boots attached where it will come in contact with the liner. If possible, get a second person to help you as this can make installation much easier. Unless otherwise specified, every Fabric Solutions domestic water tank liner comes with a geotextile underlay. The underlay adds a layer of protection between the liner and the walls of the tank. Your underlay will be installed in two pieces a wall piece and a base piece. The base piece is simply placed evenly on the floor. The wall piece will initially be temporarily hung and then permanently secured along with the tank liner. Temporarily attaching the underlay. For open top tanks, hang the underlay about 150mm over the edge of the tank and temporarily secure it on the outside with some heavy duty tape. For close top tanks, Use the heavy duty tape to hold the liner along the inside top of the water tank. Once the geotextile is in place, you can then begin installing your water tank liner. The installation method will differ for open and closed top water tanks. Let's look at installation for open top water tanks first. With open top tanks, make sure to also check that the rim and outside of the tank is free of any sharp objects. Once checked, you may place the liner inside the tank. Unfold the liner so that the perimeter wall base of the liner matches the wall base joint in the water tank. To help you position your tank liner, it will have a circle marked on it indicating the middle of the tank liner. Ok, let's see that visually. Remove the top if necessary. 
Carefully insert and then unfold the liner around the base of the water tank. Use the centre mark of the liner to help with positioning. Then you can lift up the liner wall and fold it along with the underlay over the edge of the tank. Make sure the liner hangs over the side by at least 150mm. Securing the liner. Before the liner can be secured, make sure any wrinkles are smoothed out as much as possible. There should be some slack at the bottom of the liner as this will make fitting the inlet and outlet pipes easier. The liner is simply tied around the outside with fencing wire. We recommend that you run the wire through a garden hose or a similar type of tubing. Let's now look at installation for closed top water tanks. Before you can begin, make sure you have safe access and that the water tank is well ventilated. The liner will be secured to the very top of the inside of the water tank. Your liner will have a 50mm webbed edge. You must secure into this webbed edge from inside of the water tank. You can secure the liner with rivets, self-tapping screws or concrete wall anchors depending on the type of wall the water tank has. You must place the liner as high up as possible. The reinforced area will run along the top 50mm of the liner. You must only secure the liner into the middle of this webbing with a suitable anchor for your type of water tank. The top of the liner must also be above all inlet and outlet pipes. Start by placing the liner inside the tank and unfolding the liner so that the base of the liner matches and fits in with the wall base and joint of the water tank. A centre mark on the liner will help you position the tank liner. Initially secure just four corners of the tank liner, making sure that the geotextile underlay is secured at the same time. So consider a clock, you would secure the line at the 3, 6, 9 and 12 o'clock positions. At no point should the liner be under any tension. The liner is supplied slightly oversized so it can conform to the shape of the water tank. Let's see that visually. Unfold your liner so that the base matches the base of the water tank. To help you position your tank liner, it will have a circle marked on it indicating the centre position of the tank liner. Secure four equal corners of the liner, the 3, 6, 9 and 12 o'clock positions. If the pleats or folds in the liner aren't vertical, the liner is twisted and will have to be adjusted before you can continue. You can either re-anchor the top or carefully adjust the bottom. The pleats or folds need to be vertical. Once the liner has been secured and the folds are vertical, you can keep securing the liner in the middle of each anchor point until they are approximately 200 to 250 mil apart. Ensure that the liner is evenly distributed and that there is no tension on the liner between any anchor points. Once finished, recheck that there is no twisting in the liner. Preparing the fittings for inlet, outlets and overflow pipes. Please note, as there is a large variation in the types of fittings that can be used, we do not provide new fittings. However, new fittings can be readily bought from most hardware or plumbing stores. Determine what additional pipes and fittings you will need. Make sure to prepare all of these before installing the tank liner. Take care when installing the inlet and outlet pipes, as they must be sealed against the liner so that no leakage occurs. Some pipes, like the overflow pipe, will usually have to be replaced. Here we see an example of an overflow outlet that will have to be replaced. The pipe is located where the top of the liner will go and cannot be sealed properly. You will need to also make sure that the geotextile is cut away from around the fitting. The cleared area must be larger than the flange used in order to properly secure the liner around the pipe. Ensure any gaskets that are to be fitted onto the pipes are done so before the liner is installed. When cutting a hole in the liner, make sure it is slightly smaller than the pipe as this will help forming a tight water seal. You can use the inside of the pipe as a guide. Make sure to use potable grade silicon to seal around the edges of the liner. All sealants must be fully cured before filling with water. Let's look at the outlet pipe in detail. The outlet pipe is typically 40mm in diameter and located around 150mm up from the bottom of the water tank. Typically the outlet pipe is sold as a set consisting of a threaded pipe, two gaskets and two locking nuts. On the inside of the water tank the gasket will go underneath the liner. 
Cut a hole in the liner that is slightly smaller than the pipe. Put silicon around the liner and locking nut. This will form a seal and stop the liner from leaking. All silicon used must be fully cured before filling. For walls that are uneven and rough, you can use an extra locking nut and washer to form a flat area to seal the liner against. For corrugated water tanks, a specially curved washer has to be used. These are readily available from most hardware and plumbing stores. Let's now look at the overflow pipe. For flat walled water tanks, a face plate with pre-drilled holes can be supplied. This will suit either 90mm or 100mm PVC stormwater piping. You will need to block the old overflow pipe and drill a new hole that is at least 50mm from the top of the tank. This distance must be enough to accommodate the flange. Make sure to cut away the underlay underneath. The hole for the liner must be cut slightly smaller than the pipe to ensure a tight fit. Cutting carefully, you can use the inside of the pipe as a guide. Apply potable grade silicon to the liner and around the pipe at the width of the faceplate and then fit the faceplate with suitable anchors. For concrete water tanks, you may want to consider pre-drilling the anchor holes to avoid making a mess. Apply more silicon around the inner edge of the faceplate. For corrugated walls, you will need to obtain a faceplate that is suitable for your type of water tank. These are readily available from most hardware or plumbing shops. Making final adjustments. Once all the pipes are secured, you will need to make one final check of the liner. To do this properly, fill the tank to around 300 to 400 mil of water. When filling, if there is any stress or tension in the liner, you will need to drain out the water and readjust the liner to eliminate the problem. Once you have finished installing the liner, you will need to put at least 300 mil of water inside to cover the floor. This will hold the liner in place. If you cannot do this, you must secure the liner in another way to prevent movement of the liner within the tank. When you are happy that the liner is installed properly, let the water tank fill as normal. Thank you for watching this instruction video. If anything is not clear, please seek assistance before continuing. We are only too happy to help.